Hi you guys! Welcome to our first video lesson um, and it's all about the wonderful world of books. As you can see behind me, this beautiful classroom library that I've worked so hard to put together. Um, all of these books I purchased myself, so we are going to talk today about the book Do's and Don'ts. And we're going to talk all about books all week long. I will show you this beautiful library in a moment, but um, I really hope that we can get back to person, in-person learning soon, so you get the opportunity to explore new genres, new texts, and get the opportunity to read all my wonderful books that students in the past have loved and that I love dearly. So I love buying books. I love brand new books. I love old books. Um, I have tons of books in my library from when I was a kid, some of my favorites. A lot of my books over here in this shelf I'll show you, they are brand new books. Um, most of them very good. Some of them I have not yet read, but I have a wide range of books. So let me show you. This is our classroom. I'm going to show you a little tour really quick before we actually start talking about books. So let me grab my computer and get out of your way. Okay, so if you look at this beautiful shelf right here, these are all brand new books. Okay, brand new. You might see some of your favorites. One of my favorites is uh, What Should Danny Do? Um, I just got that book, brand new one. The Cool Bean, I read it. It's a very cute story. But all those are our read-alouds. And most of them are hardcover, and like I said, they're brand new books. Okay, if you look to this shelf, these two shelves, so we have some books in a basket, and all my books in my library are labeled. So we have level one, level two, level three, math, science, nonfiction, and social studies. On that other tall shelf that says read at the top, those are all our chapter books. So those are books that mostly I would be reading aloud to you guys to just listen to what a fluent reader sounds like, and enjoy a story. If you don't get the opportunity to actually read some of those books by the end of this year, that's okay. I hope they motivate you to become better readers so you can read those independently by yourself. At the bottom of that shelf, you can see there's another set of baskets, and those are all your The Three Little Pigs. So we're very familiar with that story, but there are several different versions of The Three Little Pigs. Okay, I'm going to turn one more time. Look at this giant bookcase. This is actually two bookshelves that I put together. Uh, as you can see at the top, I have some more great read-alouds that um, I will be reading to you, The Bad Seed and Sylvie. The other two are some science, why not, and why question and answer books. But if you look at the shelves, again, filled with wonderful books for you to enjoy. We have the classic Dr. Seuss, Arthur, Eric Carl, a whole row of fiction books, um, Shel Silverstein, who's one of my favorites, winter and Christmas books, Halloween, fall and Thanksgiving books, Berenstein Bear books, award-winning books, African-American and Hispanic literature, um, books about life lessons, and then that last basket is all books about school. Okay, so again, Beautiful classroom library put together. Um, all my books are in pretty good condition, whether they're you new or used, but they're all in good condition. And you can see again, I have a beautiful and huge classroom library for you to enjoy whenever we do get back to in-person learning. Okay, I take pride in my classroom library and it's important that you take pride in it as well so that you can enjoy them, other, your other classmates could enjoy them, as well as students in the future can enjoy them. Okay, so let's talk about books, the do's and don'ts of books. So here's a book, um, School's First Day of School. It's a nice hardcover book, and this is a book that we are actually going to read this week. So that's why I chose this book to start with. Okay, so today we're just gonna talk about how do you treat a book? So whenever I teach kids about how do you treat books, I like to remind them that you're going to treat a book the same way that you would treat your friends, right? I treat my friends with respect, so I would treat my books with respect. I wouldn't be throwing my book, hey, you want to read this book? Okay, because we know books are filled with paper, and the second I throw that, oh, look what's going to happen in my book. Okay, maybe it's not even a hardcover book, so maybe it's going to rip, maybe pages are going to come out, we just absolutely never, ever, 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 
never would throw a book. If you want to lend a book to somebody, you hand it to them, okay, with respect. So remember, oh, I'm going to keep saying that, treat your books like you would treat your friends. So I'm going to treat them with respect. I would never throw it across the room. I would hand it to my friend. Certainly, I would not be eating as I'm reading because, again, is this your book? Did you buy this book? Unless you bought it and it's yours, I don't want you eating around books, okay? Because we know, especially for kids, we get dirty pretty easily. What if I'm eating something chocolate that's delicious and it's all over my fingers, but I need to turn the page and oh, all of a sudden I get chocolate all over this beautiful book and then the next person that wants to read it, they're gonna have somebody else's old food crusted on this beautiful book. So we don't ever wanna eat around our books just the same way we don't wanna drink around our books, okay? We know how easy it is for an accident to happen and even if I am taking a drink, what if my hand slips and, oh, there goes my water all over my book. Again, we know that books are made of paper, so we know when paper gets wet, it gets ruined. So we're not going to eat around our books. We're not going to drink around our books. We're not going to throw our books. We're not going to put our books in our mouth, in our noses, in any place that it doesn't belong. Books belong in your hands and in my lap for me to enjoy and to read. Okay? So book basics... You should know how to treat a book. I mean, I know we are still pretty young, but we know how to respect um, other people's belongings. And you guys had books last year in kindergarten, especially like textbooks. We know we treat them with respect. When I'm turning the page, especially, I'm not going to be aggressive and turn it like that. I'm not going to crinkle the page. I'm going to turn it gently so that it doesn't rip and so that by the time I'm done enjoying the story, it's still fresh and perfect for the next person to enjoy. Okay, so again, just some book basics for whenever you do get to explore my beautiful library that I took you on a tour of. So you guys are gonna do an activity of the do's and don'ts of how to treat a book. This activity is kind of fun for you because you do get to color, cut, and paste. So as you're looking at the pictures and maybe one might be questionable, think to yourself, hmm, would I treat my friend that way? If not, then I probably wouldn't treat my book that way. Or, oh, I would definitely treat my friend like that. Then you would definitely treat your book like that. Okay? So go enjoy your activity of the do's and don'ts of books. And tomorrow's lesson, we're going to talk more about the book physically itself.